Hi, this is Dr. Jonathan Maneri, chiropractor uh, here in Lone Tree, Colorado. And today we're going to talk about uh, drug-free management of arthritis conditions. And the main one we're going to talk about today is osteoarthritis. Now, osteoarthritis is the most common cause of arthritis, so if you're not familiar with that, you can kind of see that this is a normal vertebra, really smooth. Uh, it's two segments of the spine. Disc is really healthy. Uh, if you look at this other... Uh, vertebrae, you can see the disc is completely degenerative, there's uh, spurs and arthritis, and the nerves where they come out of these holes are completely closed up, and that's where we start the pain and inflammation. We can get stiffness and pain in the morning here uh, due to lack of blood supply, lack of range of motion. So uh, we want to talk about first, you know, what causes arthritis. The most common cause for arthritis in the spine uh, is usually a variety of things. Usually it's bad posture, uh, past history of trauma, whether that's impact sports or car accidents, bad posture, you know, where the spine starts to bend forward and starts to put pressure on these discs and loads. Abnormal pressure, abnormal bi biomechanics or posture of the spine leads to increase in laying down a calcium to reinforce those areas that have extra pressure. So if you're sitting in front of the computer with really bad posture, we're seeing a lot of people with beginning stages of arthritis at really young ages due to hunching and bad posture. Young kids on iPads, iPhones, you really have to be careful that they're looking straight ahead, if not a little bit up. So any kind of stand or holder, they want to be looking straight ahead instead of, you know, obviously in forward flexion, their head down because it's going to increase that pressure. So those are a lot of the things that cause uh, osteoarthritis. A lot of people think that, oh gosh, you know, my parents have osteoarthritis. So there's nothing I can do. I'm just going to become a complete mess like them. We're going to talk about solutions and some things that you can really slow down that process. And once again, you've seen in my other videos that your health really is only, you can only blame about 10 to 15% of your health on your parents. A lot of the other stuff that you can do, 80% of your health has to do with your environment that you're put in, your diet, exercise, and prevention. So a lot of people with osteoarthritis these days are taking tons of pain medication. And there's side effects for those pain medications. As you know, ibuprofen, uh, NSAIDs, can irritate the gastrointestinal, we can get internal bleeding. Uh, there's some major side effects for uh, obviously, you know, Tylenol or acetaminophen with kidney uh, dysfunction over many years. So you, ideally, you can use pain medication, but for really short spurts, but you want to have a long-term solution if you're having pain, and that's what we're going to go through. So uh, we see a lot of chiropractic patients for arthritis. Chiropractic lubricates the spine through the adjustment. It breaks up any beginning stages of microdeposits that are trying to form. That's the osteoarthritis. When we're adjusting the spine, it's breaking up microdeposits of those. So we don't build these big nasty spurs here. So make sure you're doing some adjustments with your chiropractor. Also stretching is huge, yoga to increase fluid in the spine, lubricating the spine, keeping those discs super healthy, so stretching every day. And then exercise, there's been a lot of research that you'll see you know, in our, our weekly newsletter, which we, you can click the link below and you can get all the research that's in you know, this topic that I'm talking about, how, how to manage arthritis naturally. So click the link below and you can just kind of follow along with what I'm talking about here. So. Um, stretching, lubricating the spine, exercise, cardiovascular exercise increases heat, increases blood supply, it, it uh, draws uh, blood into the muscles, and that's why a lot of people feel better after they take a hot shower, especially when they're really stiff in the morning. Osteoarthritis sufferers feel stiffness in the morning, and that's because lack of blood supply. So put some heat on you in the morning, stretch, do some yoga, you feel much better faster. <clears throat> The other things that you can do as well, besides exercise, is nutritional supplements, which once again, you can follow in the newsletter, all this information is in there. Um, there's been a lot of research, and you'll see in this study here about omega-3s, fish oils. Uh, if you're a vegetarian or vegan, there's lots of different products you can get omega-3s from, flax seed, uh, chia seeds, uh, you know, primrose oil, 
So there's many different forms of omega-3s, but this study was done with fish oils. And fish oils are, are, are omega-3s are natural anti-inflammatories. It reduces inflammation of the body. So you want to be doing your fish oils. You obviously, you know, I'll just go through these. Uh, glucosamine is fine. That's a supplement, glucosamine sulfate. Avocado, soybean, um, green tea, ginger, turmeric, which is a vasodilator. And uh, supplements like vitamin C, vitamin D, which you ha should have your vitamin D levels checked as well. So supplementation and really getting into your um, anti-inflammatory diet, which if you look on our website, you'll see recipes on specifically what that means and what are the anti-inflammatory foods. Make sure you're staying away from nightshade uh, vegetables. Those have a little bit of nicotine. They do cause inflammation of the body. So when you're having a flare-up, make sure that you're not, that you're staying away from the nightshades. Uh, and you can Google all of them, but you know, your bell peppers, tomatoes, uh, eggplant. So make sure you're being careful of those. Um, Supplementation, exercise, stretching, drinking tons of water to flush the system out, uh, super important. All those things will lower inflammation in your body. The other things you have to think about is reducing your salt intake. Average American consumes 12 grams per day of salt. They should be around 2 grams. So salt causes swelling. I'm sure you've had foods you've eaten and uh, that are salty foods and you can't barely move the rings because you're swelling. That's going to cause more pain. Lower in sugar intake. You really shouldn't be having any refined sugars. Lower your gluten intake and the dairy. You look at, if you ever look at milk or cheese, there's quite a bit of sugar in there and salt. So make sure that you're, you know, um, juicing, you're having, you know, your salmon, lots of fresh veggies, tons of water and that will flush out you in a couple weeks if you change your diet look at the recipes that we have you'll feel start to feel much better so uh, if you have any questions uh, you know make a comment here on this YouTube video you can click on our website you can email me uh, make sure you check out our newsletter on uh, natural ways to uh, to manage arthritis if you have it or to prevent it in general and uh, I hope this was you know informative for you you know, check out our other YouTube videos as well and have a wonderful